A lot of boys back in the day would go to the bookie shop and things like that. I found myself in the tattoo shop for some reason. Is it a few I regret? Probably, but everyone that I've got on my body, I can remember the time that I got it done. I can remember how I was feeling and I remember why I got it done. My name is Ryan Stevenson, 36 years of age. I started off playing boys club down in Ayrshire and went down to Chelsea when I was 13. I stayed there till I was just turning 18. Came back up and, and signed for St Johnston professionally. I then went on to A United and moved to Hearts. And it's Ryan Stevenson with a blockbuster. Stevenson to complete a glorious hat-trick. I got my first tattoo when I was 14. My dad had a, a massive panther on his left arm, which I was infatuated by from a young age. And back in the day, you know, you could find these little side street alley tattoo shops that you could go in and, you know, people would turn a sort of blind eye and I went in and got a tattoo. I remember going in and I'm looking through the books and I'm thinking, I want to get something that one, my mum and dad will not kill me and something that I can hide. So I got a little dragon, which is now covered up, but that was the first tattoo I got, was a sort of dragon on the top end of my, my left arm. Well, I've probably got about 40 or 50 tattoos all together. And I would hate myself for the fact that the money that I've, that I've spent, but I don't think in general, I, th I don't think it's as much as what people would probably think. The boy that does my tattoos knows he's getting a repeat customer, so he, he gives me a good deal. Myself and my oldest son, Carter, when I was captain for Hearts Against Celtic, he was a mascot and he walked out with me. I've got a portrait of that on my back. You know, that's probably the most special tattoo that I've got. It was against the grain, I think it was against the norm. And I think at times that people, um, especially sort of the older generations, managers, chairmen, things like that, it was, did they want you representing their club, having all these tattoos all over your, your hands and your neck and things like that? Again, it would, you go back to it and it would be quite a thuggish thing that, that they would look and see. You are silly. I remember that that was pretty much the phrase you would get, oh, what are you going to do when you're older? I do think when I was younger it had, it had an effect on me. People who would look at me if I went into a restaurant or I went certain places that would judge me because of how I looked with tattoos. You were sitting there thinking, if I go in here, what's the manager going to say? Is he going to, is he going to go off his head? Is he going to have a go at me? I still get it just now where people love pops at you and you know look at the state of your tattoos. What about this? What about that? It's all part and parcel of who I am, and it's all part and parcel of the journey that I've that I've been on through my life. I think at the early stage of your career, as a footballer, you're bulletproof. You have to be bulletproof, and you actually enjoyed the banter. You enjoyed actually people, the away fans, giving you a bit of stick. And when I got to the stage I was at Wraith Rovers, if one person said something to me. The mental state that I was in at the time, it affected me not just on the Saturday during the game, but it affected me the Sunday, the Monday. The full week leading up to the next game, I would be nervous, I was anxious. Um, and I think that was obviously just down to where I was uh, in my own life, personally. The actual situation of, of me and my boy's mum splitting up was inevitable. It was, it was you know, it's part of life, but the, the actual, the deeper part of uh, missing my kids every single day when you don't have them was just, it just crippled me. I'd go to training, come back, and I'd be sitting just wondering what they were up to, you know, it totally broke me down. I felt pretty embarrassed about it because how could, how could I be sitting there saying that I'm going through a hard time when, you know, I've lived such a good life, I've, I've lived my dream, and I felt embarrassed by the fact that I was then saying, you know, that I was struggling. But I just knew within myself that I had to find a way out of it. I think when you're younger, you always chase the glory, you always chase the dream of being better, being bigger, earning more money. For me now, what I would like to do is give something back to the game, is give something back to players who are maybe coming up through, who are going through things. Privileged to, to be able to do things like this where I can come out and say um, what I've been through and, and how I felt. But if that can help just one person, then I know 
at night when I put my head in my pillow that I've done the right thing. Having tattoos on your face or on your hands or on your neck doesn't make you a bad person. You are who you are.